Hey everyone, welcome to Plants and Politics. So I recently profiled 41-year-old L. Brent Bozell as one of the people who was arrested for his participation in the Capitol attack on January 6th. And now he has been indicted by a grand jury. Not only that, but they added four additional counts to the charges against him since I profiled him in one of my video shorts. He's now facing far more serious charges and jail time. His charges now include obstruction of an official proceeding, destruction of government property, entering and remaining in an official building, disorderly and disruptive conduct in a restricted building, disorderly conduct in the Capitol, act of physical violence in the Capitol, parading, demonstrating, or picketing inside the Capitol. Um, obstruction of an official proceeding alone carries a sentence up to 20 years in prison. So all total, if Bozell is convicted on all counts, he's now facing over 24 years in prison. The sad thing is that I believe this guy has a wife and kids. So he threw his entire future away and a life with his family, with his wife and kids, because Donald Trump lied because Trump and others lied to him for months and convinced him that the election had been stolen. So I just have to wonder if any of these families of these people who've now been arrested might get together and file a lawsuit against Trump and his allies for leading their loved ones down this BS conspiracy theory trail. They knew it was false. Make no mistake, Trump and his allies know that they're lying. That's why they had no evidence when they went to court. That's why they were laughed out of every court they went to. I just hope that their loved ones are not as blinded and fooled by Trump as they were, and they can see that this guy is sitting in Florida, playing golf, eating his cheeseburgers, enjoying his life, without a care, and their loved ones are facing decades in prison. And some of them are still sitting in prison awaiting trial. And think of how that affects a family. If that person was the breadwinner, that family now has no income, all because of Trump's lies. I'll keep you guys posted as always. Like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Take care and I'll talk with you soon.